Out here today, we're going to talk the twin ARB compressor and the Easy Flate case system. Boo. So, out here with Viking Off Road in the middle of nowhere, we're going to uh, do an air up comparison between the twin ARB and the case dual compressor or dual air compressor 10.6 CFM model. Viking Off Road, he runs the twin ARB. He's got it under his seat mounted so it's onboard air very convenient nice to get to very clean install on the other hand i over here have a easy flake case system comes in its own case it's external hooks to the battery under the hood but it has one different thing than the twin arb it's 10.6 cfm and with the hose kit the hose kit doesn't really matter because you could air up the twin arb using the same kit yeah. all four tires at once um, but this one being a higher output seems to air up all four pretty fast so we're just going to do a comparison today and see which one's faster i got a question for you sure do you want to use your hose kit with the twin arb so it's an evener 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 what do you mean so it's more of an even comparison where i'm not airing up each individual tire so we just time one then time the other yeah we can do that yeah i think that's a more fair comparison okay now that i think about it let's uh let's make sure the tires are at the same pressure okay and then uh we'll do one at a time i think mine are at 15 follow me let's All check right, it let's out let's check it out 15, 15. i know mine on the mojave are at 18 so we need to let a little bit more pressure out to make it an even fair comparison so Griff has okay, his so. stopwatch ready. We're just going to time the air up time versus one compressor versus the other. So let's go ahead and get the hoses hooked up and then we'll start. Yeah. Okay. So originally I was going to go with a different brand. So I have a competitor's hoses. So easy plate if you're watching. Use some new hoses. So you definitely have to, uh, you got to undo your hood and everything for yours, huh? I do, I do. So you're going to undo your hood. Okay, tell me about it, stud. So for the easy flate system, you do have to undo your hood, open up the case, hook it up to the battery. I also have onboard ARB system here, which also runs my front locker. So either way, in my situation, because of the way it's mounted, I have to open the hood. Okay. Whereas you have to open your door. Yeah. Definitely a, a space or speed thing at that point, right? Yep. So I'll tell you one thing I do like about this already is the actual case, right? I like the case because it keeps it clean. It does. It's it, watertight, dust tight. It is. So I throw the case in the bed of the truck. It's protected weather resistant no issues they make the instructions really simple if you look here at the specifications 90 amps max psi flow rate temp gets hot warning gets hot 30 minute runtime portability durability duh co-pilot approved fast af big button push it and that's what turns it on so you gotta admit that's pretty clever the way they did their sticker <laughs> i do like that i do like that so all right griff if you're ready to start the stopwatch let me know when i am ready to start on your Action. mark Shop. go go <laughs> Now, typically with the Gladiators, their uh, TPMS is pretty accurate recording. So you can watch from the dash as it airs up to see what your current pressure is. Five and a half minutes, about 28 PSI. 
I got this beat. ARB will beat it. I got faith. I got faith. We've done a smaller comparison before with start to finish. Typically I get done one wheel, one tire faster than he does. Typically. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. But now I'm gonna be using all four at one time, so I've got to take the time to undo each one, do each one, undo each one. You know, so that takes a lot more time. 30 PSI. So we'll see what happens. I think we got him. Easy Flate's definitely the new king of the compressors. I don't know. You know they're out of Eagle Mountain? No. Easy Flate? That's good. So as you can see, we're steadily moving up. We're at about 33 PSI now on all four. I got seven minutes and 16 seconds. 7.20. So, I don't think the ARB stands a chance. Admittedly, the setup and teardown time is a little more, just because it is external. However, not only do I hypothesize it's faster, it's half the cost. One thing I have noticed as of recent airing up, that front tire airs up faster than the rest of them. I was gonna say it's because it's closer, but the fact of the matter is it's equal distance. Right. So it's not I understand the front tire is getting a little more one or two pounds ahead of the back. It should be equal though, in theory. I know a lot of people when they finish, they uh, sit and let their pressures equalize. Um, I know you've discussed this before about wanting to have a setup like this so you could equalize your tire pressure after you're done. Now, for that, are we just talking longevity of the tires? Because they don't give these things away. No, uh, I mean, Or is yeah. it drivability? Well, longevity of the tires, right, if they're all even. Uh, the other thing is I have wicked OCD. So when I look at the dash and I see 35, 36, 38, and 32, even though I set them all the same, it just, I can't ever get all four of them equal, and it I do, with my head. I have noticed as of recent that I have not worried as much because all my tires have been the same pressure now. Yeah. And uh, it does not drive me as crazy. Yeah, it drives me absolutely bonkers. So, the fronts are at 37, and the rears are at 36. So the fronts are 37 and the rears are 36. So, I think we should call it. Okay, we'll call it there. And we are... What are we at? 919.47. 919.47 for the Case Easy Flate. Okay, now we're gonna take the hoses off of my Jeep. We're gonna attach them to Viking Off-Road's Jeep. Uh, your mom. Named your mom. And uh, redo the test using the ARB. We'll be right back with you. All right. We've got your mom all hooked up to the hose. Yeah, it's true. Your mom's hooked up to the hose. You can see it's all right. four tires hooked up. I'm just trying to keep the plugs out. You can show them yeah. the ARB hookup. So we've got it hooked up. The ARB is on and running, but we do not have the vet. The ARB is on and running, but we do not have the valve open yet. See, it's all hooked up. And I think we're ready. Yep. All right, you mm -hmm. ready? One for the money, two for the show, and go. Okay, it's away. So all right. we'll see. We've got good started. What was the time on the? 9.19. Nine minutes, 19 seconds is what he's got to beat. I don't think he can do it. Some time later. Four and a half minutes and we're probably at like 21 PSI. Yeah, 42 to 1.2. 
we uh we keep making our way back to the shade because it is it's warm. we're at we're 8100 feet today and uh 82 8200 feet and it's 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 warm it's just it's not warm it's the direct sunlight is a killer i mean at this point i might go get in the lake yeah yeah i thought about it he still has more than 10 psi to go and we're already at six and a half minutes easy easy peasy we make that up in our sleep we're closers he makes it up all right closers get coffee bud okay so at this point i'm gonna go ahead and declare victory for the easy flake case he still has 10 pounds of pressure per tire to go in less than a minute and a half to do it 31 psi is all he was able to get to in the same amount of time with his arb so he was six psi short in the same amount of time so we'll obviously we'll keep going and see what the total time is easy flake definitely beats arb at this point I will say, you have to make a decision on based on what your needs are. If you want to air up a little quicker, the compressor itself, the easy flight is a little faster, but there is a little more setup than what he has to do. As far as his is mounted in under his seat, he takes out the hose, he plugs it in, he's done. We have to take out the hose, hook up each tire, plug in the, plug up the compressor to the battery and do all that in reverse where he just has one hose to deal also, with. Also another thing to think about, um, it does, my ARB does take up one of my aux buttons, so. It does as well. If you're limited in aux switches, then that's something to think about as well, so. For me, I think the Easy Flate is a clear winner all the way around. It may take a moment or two sooner or longer in order to set everything up and get it going, but it, half approximately half the cost to me that's probably worth it Where are we at? 11 minutes 12 seconds 35 34. It's pretty significant difference depending on how much time you want to spend yeah and money for me it doesn't the money thing is a big one Time for me is is not horrible. I mean, this is my wind down time, right? I don't want to hurry up and get home. So for me, it depends on the situation I'm in. If I'm out doing a recovery in the middle of the snow and it's dark and late and I want to get home, faster is better. However, I have a different solution for that as well. Yeah, compressed CO2 works a lot. Better. I have CO2 mounted in the bed of the truck. Yeah, that definitely is the way to it's, it. As far as speed is concerned, it's king. However, there's a possible, you know, you can run out on the trail when you need it. You have to refill the bottles, which also costs money. Um, right, it we're buries. Stop it. We're getting ready to stop. So, I didn't mean to interrupt. 37 all around. 12 minutes, 32 seconds. So, a little over three minutes longer. So, three minutes longer. So, really, the CFM difference does obviously make a difference, but the real prize here is a little more setup time for approximately half the cost or the convenience of having it on board and mounted at all times. It, you have to look at what's important to you. What would you say is the most important factor for you? Speed is obviously not a thing for you because speed. you use this time to wind down. Yeah, speed is a, a huge factor for me. Um, part of it is I use this not just to wind down, but I've usually driven on a bunch of dirt roads. I'm getting to pavement right before I go on pavement. So for me, I'm double checking my load. If I pull in the trailer, I'm double checking, make sure everything's hooked up securely while it's airing up. So I have things that I'm doing in that time frame. Mm -hmm. So it's not a huge deal for me. Um, the cost is is definitely a big deal um, and the other thing is like for me I don't use mine for lockers so when it's sitting under the seat it's clean out of the way 
it's always getting freshest, as fresh as air as it can get because it's always usually clean air. Right. So that keeps, you know, the seals and everything keeps it cool because it's air conditioned in there. So right. it keeps Whereas it a little mine, bit cooler. Under the um, hood in the engine bay. Yeah, that's where your ARB is. Because I have a front ARB locker as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the price point on the case, I have to say it definitely seems worth it. I mean, I agree. Uh, if you're looking for a solution, weigh out your options of what you're looking for. Um, I think you should do another video in a year after we check longevity of it. Yeah, we could definitely uh, do another video. Right. They're a newer company. They are. They're based out of Utah. That's that's good. I like that. So they're local to us. We're from Utah. I always support local as much as we can. Absolutely. So I do like that. But the convenience of the mounting locations of twin ARBs and things like now, that is super nice. Okay, so they do make that exact same one that doesn't go in a case, right? It's they do. Mountable. They have, um, uh, they're all mountable well, in some way. It's more mountable than that one. Right, it's called the Moab instead of the case. It's called the Moab. Uh, they just released a new version of the Moab where you can actually set the pressure for it to cut off when it reaches that pressure. We'll uh, see if we can't get some information on EasyFlate about that and uh, provide that for you. 